Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and sorry for the noise, uh, as you can see by the light, you are right next to Project Envy, and this is because I wanted to get you an okay camera angle for seeing uh, overclocking. I suppose I, I could just use the fraps, but hey, that can uh, hit performance sometimes, so we're going to close fraps, Skype, and all that stuff. Well, okay. Having craps up and showing the counter does not impact performance, but recording does. There you go. So, Project Envy. As you can tell here... No? Hmm, that's odd. Device Manager... The 570 is supposed to be disabled, but it is somehow still uh, being read. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Both of these GPU meters are showing a GT710 instead of a GT570 or GTX570. So I guess I'll close one of these for now. And there we go. I have no idea how turning off the top light will affect visuals, but I'm hoping that will make it somewhat easier for you to see. Alright, so today's video is overclocking with the GT710. How good can we make it for $35? Uh, as you saw in the render testing, if you saw that video, uh, it actually does improve render times by quite a bit. It's actually really impressive. But what about overclocking? Well, let's find out. We're going to... Huh? I thought it had more than just Fermark. That's odd. <laughs> Amazing. Let me go get some more benchmarking utilities, like Heaven and Valley and that kind of stuff. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and I have downloaded some programs now. Uh, I did download 3D Mark 11 and uh, 3D Mark, uh, whichever one that is, dog, shut up. Uh, but it, they're undoable. Like, Slideshow City, one frame per two seconds, that's awful. So I'm not going to do those. I'm going to do Valley and Heaven. And I've already done those, and the scores were. Uh, for Valley, 720p low settings, it had a score of 752, and, f and for Heaven, 720p low settings, it had 611. So there you go. I'm going to keep this up. And now we will attempt to overclock. I've let it cool down enough, I think. It's passive, so any cooling down it does is uh, through the air that the fans in the system generate. So now we've overvolted it up to 1.16 volts, which should be good enough. Uh, boost clock is non-existent, so uh, let's go up 20 megahertz at a time for both, I guess. Alright, we're going to hit apply. And not much seems to have happened. 953, that is the base uh, base megahertz, right? If I do zero, then hit apply, then hit 20 again. Yep, uh, that, that should be overclocking some. It is not. I did see that go up a little bit though. Hmm. Maybe maybe we'll see something if we start up a uh, benchmark utility. So this is Valley. I'm gonna be watching the a megahertz thing there to see if it overclocks. Okay, there we go. Through the system or through uh, Valley here, it does work fine. So, uh, that's pretty good, that's good. 
Uh, I'm not going to do the same thing over and over again. I'm going to keep adding 20 megahertz until it can no longer stably go through. So, yep. Let's add 20 megahertz more. I will only go up to 100 for the memory, but if the GPU can go over 100, then hey, that's really good. So, Valley once again, run, and I will get back to you when I can no longer get it to run properly. I'll see you whenever. Okay, this is incredible. This $35 card, still running this fine, we're still overclocking now, we're still going up. This isn't the highest I've gotten it, but we're at 1254, that's 300 megahertz faster. And the memory's at 1,000, that's 200 faster. For a $35 card, that is actually really amazing. I'm gonna keep going, see how much higher we can go. We're only at 62 degrees at 1254. That's as fast as a uh, reference GTX 980, 980 Ti even, I think. It's not gonna perform that well, but you know, you get the idea. Clock speed for clock speed, it's almost the same, but clock speed isn't everything nowadays. Yeah, we're running this with zero hiccups. Let's keep going. All right, we have found our maximum overclock. It is plus 360 on the core and plus 200 on the RAM. I probably could have gone higher with the RAM, but I wanted it to be good. Besides, plus 200 on memory is usually really good. And plus 360 is actually really high. Really, really high, actually. Uh, I tried 370 and 380, and while they did work, it started to show artifacts on Valley. So now I brought it down to 360, uh, and now we're going to do the benchmarks and see how much of an improvement we get. So we're trying to get a score better than 752 for Valley. I'll see you at the end. Alright, scores are in, and we have gained over 200 points. Look at that, we're at 984. It was at 752 before. That is really, really good for such a cheap low-end card. And I guess this shows you, don't underestimate them. They can really give you some good performance if you overclock them. All right, let's go into heaven and see what kind of results we get there. So I'll see you at the end of that. Alright, the results are in for heaven, and we have 798, which is still an improvement. Almost 200 better. So, that's, that's all really good, actually. I'm going to not close that yet. And I wanted to test Bioshock 1. Why? Because it could barely muster 30 frames per second uh, on stock. Let's see how it can do now with it overclocked to 13 to 14 megahertz. Turn off the top light to help you see. Trying to get it so you can see the top of the frame counter. There you go. Alright, we're getting 60 on the main menu. And 30 here. Alright, and 30 there as well. Hmm. Options, graphics options. Force global lighting. Uh, vertical sync off. Let's have that off. That may give us some better results. 
for some more accurate results. So with it off, we're getting 40. Which is pretty playable. Hello. Alright, so 40 ish frames, one overclocked. Here, quit the windows. Yeah, I might as well. And yeah. Uh, yeah, don't show again. So that's going to be it for this 710 GT. Uh, overall, it is being really impressive. Uh, I think more impressive than the 570 I've gotten there. And yeah, I may do another video, in fact I will do another video with the GT710 overclocked to 1314 megahertz and the GTX 570 overclocked as high as I can get it. I haven't tested that yet. And the CPU overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz and then see, I'm gonna redo that same render test that I usually do and see how much better it is when you overclock everything and have the two graphics cards in it. Because so far with just the two graphics cards in it, we have shaved more than two minutes off of the render time, which is really good. So if you want to see that, please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course subscribe. Thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you in the next video.